Hello everyone, my name is Jacob Wall. Today's topic is why is harassment illegal? Okay, if you had someone calling you every hour or every 30 minutes or maybe every 15 minutes and you couldn't get anything done because that person was calling you every 15 minutes, how would that make you feel? You couldn't even sleep with that person calling you every 15 minutes. I wonder if you don't answer the phone. Would they still keep calling you? Maybe. Unless you block them. That's why harassment is illegal. You won't want people to bother you all the time. Same thing with sexual harassment. Would you want anybody to touch you inappropriately? But that, that's why harassment is illegal, and harassment should be illegal. Going over there and touching somebody in an inappropriate way, that's harassment. That's an assault to an harassment, sexual harassment. And you don't want people bothering you all the time, calling you all the time, or texting you all the time, or messaging you all the time. There's stuff that you want to get done. That's why harassment is legal, along with sexual harassment is legal too. Okay, it is time to get saved. I would like you to go to Romans 3.23 For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That means we all have sinned. We all have made mistakes. None of us is perfect. I would like you to go to Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is a true life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Because we all have sinned, we all deserve to die and go to hell. But don't worry, I got another verse to show you, and that is Romans chapter 5 and verse 8. But God disrespects his own love toward us, and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Christ died for us. He died for me and you. So we don't have to go to hell when we die. But we have to do one thing, though. And I would like you to go to Romans chapter 10, verse 9 through 10, and we'll jump over to verse 13. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved, for with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confessing is made unto salvation. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Once you ask God to come to your heart, you will be saved. Let's get saved right now. Don't wait till next week because there may not be a next week. Alright, let's get saved. Alright, dear Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and that you died and rose from the dead for me. Please forgive me for my sin and take me to heaven when I die. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If you just pray, you are now saved. I would like you to go to 1 John chapter 5, verse 11 to 13. And this is the testimony that God has given us to tear our life. And this life is in his Son, he who has the Son of God. Does not have life. These things I have written to you, who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have true life, and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. You can know that you are saved. It's not a hope so, it's a no so. 
I would like you to go to John chapter 10 and verse 28. They, I give them eternal life, and they should never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. I like that verse. No one cannot take you away from God. No one cannot. I would like you to go to Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and the I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Baptism is the next step after getting saved, and baptism does not get you to heaven. Baptism does not. I would like you to go to Acts chapter 2, verse 41 through 42. Then those who gladly received his own were, were baptized, and that day about 3,000 souls were added to them. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, in the breaking of bread, and in prayers. Go to church and learn about the gospel. I would like you to go to 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 2. As newborn babes are the poor milk of the word that you may grow thereby. I would like you to go to Philippines chapter 4 verse 6 to 7. Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God which suppresses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Read your Bible in prayer every day. Prayers, hands of thanks. Last verse, I would like you to go to John chapter 3 and verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God loves us. He loves me and you. That's all I have. Um, next week's topic is... Is it okay to allow someone else to do your work because you don't feel like doing it? Goodbye, everyone.